Hey everybody, it's Randy with Carchaeology, and I've got Sebastian coming over today. We were going to dig through some parts and kind of sort for some usable stuff for his shop, but I think we're going to spend some time on this right here. It's a 1966 Volkswagen bus uh, that I got from this California estate. It's been sitting for a number of years. Uh, we did fire it up for the first time, hooked a battery up to it, and just a uh, little starting fluid in the carb, and the engine went. So I do think we will be able to get this thing up and running and rolling today. At least I hope. I don't know what's in the gas tank. I don't know what we're dealing with as far as brakes and so on and so forth. I've got some big goofy tires on it right now the, to the point where it just won't roll. So we've got to change that out. But if we can actually get this thing to start move under its own power, it might be fun to buff it up and see what sort of effort we can put into it today to transform it from what you see right here to... Uh, Hopefully, a uh, much prettier picture or something like that. In any case, uh, follow along. I'll try to video as much as I can today. It'll be a fun project. See if we can do a one-day revival of this Volkswagen bus. All right, this thing was packed solid full of VW parts from this estate. I've transferred the vast majority of it over here into the trailer. And here is my worst nightmare, but uh, also a pretty amazing blessing. These are all vintage VW parts, air-cooled stuff. Uh, there's some really good pieces in amongst all of this. But my God, what a mountain of crap I need to go through. But bit by bit, I'm grabbing boxes, posting stuff up on the internet, finding homes for this stuff. And uh, now that I've got this hollowed out, I can start to uh, see if I can make it a bus again. Now, just for kicks, I threw these big, giant uh, all-terrain tires on the back. Um, these were just kind of fun to see if they would fit and they kind of fit, but not quite. Uh, I also put some little fatties up front there. I kind of like that look, but on the other side, this one over here is not holding air as to be expected from tires that are probably 50 years old or so. So I'm going to wander through the yard here, see if I got some, uh, suitable seventies vibe, um, wheels. And uh, I think I've got some right over here to dig from now here's another fun little thing this is available for sale if somebody's interested it's a little volkswagen trailer it's using a type 3 rear end as the axle and irs rear end it's got shocks and stuff in there it's got wide five bolt patterns so you can put your old uh, dome hubcaps on it It'd be great behind your bus or your beetle or whatever cool little piece that somebody fabbed up Anyway, over here to the rest of the parts pile, I'm really digging these old appliance slot mags here. And I think that those will probably fit on the Baja bus. And I've got the front ones over here. These were off of one of the Myers May steam buggies that I've been working on. So I'm gonna yank those bad boys off and throw them on the bus. And I think they will hold air, at least for the time being, we can get that thing actually rolling. So uh, let's go. It was still pretty close, but uh, I like the look. That's cool, man. <laughs> awesome. So I got most of the parts out of here. There was so much in here, um, but uh, you can see this kind of hip vintage flooring going on there. There's uh, this camper set up here. Uh, these uh, old uh, bread boxes or whatever were used for storing assorted stuff for their travels. It's going to be kind of fun to go through that and make it look like something. Uh, the front here as well, it's got some really sketchy seat covers on there, but I'm going to pull those off and see what it looks like. Uh, the funky rug down in there is interesting. The dash with all of its assorted gauges. This one here, this little tack from Sandmaster is actually a really cool vintage piece. Uh, unfortunately, they cut a big hole in the dash for it, but uh, but whatever. Anyway, we'll see if we can get this thing fired up and moving, and uh, then I'll work about cleaning up the interior and see if we can polish up this exterior here. I think that paint will probably hold a shine. Awesome. I'll just put a little remote tank in there so that it's not sucking any nasty stuff out of the regular tank. Um, but we'll definitely drain what is in the other tank and see if we can get that hooked up. But right now we're just gonna see if we can make it go. Ah, 
that battery is just too dead. Almost. It's gonna go. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> okay. All right. This time. This time it'll go. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever had one so close, but not uh -huh. go. All right, so that carburetor is definitely clogged up. The gas is just not going where it needs to go. Obviously, with a little starting fluid, it lights right up. So we're going to pull the carb off, open it up, clean out the jets and uh, all the little passages. Then pop it back on there and try it again. But uh, I am confident that this thing is going to run here very shortly. Definitely shite. So we're going to pull this one off of here. Uh, one of my spare engines, put that on there, and then hopefully we can get that thing up and running. And then we'll uh, clean up that other carb and then put it back on that engine so I can use that another time. got headlights amazing how about a horn no no horn you just scream out of my way how about brakes does it have brakes no brakes does the handbrake work what's that gauge all the gauges are working that's good does the handbrake work yeah, all right. Well, then let's make it go. What the heck? We can yard drive this on the handbrake. No problem. All right, moment of truth. Will it move under its own power? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're good. Uh, stop. <laughs> okay, maybe not so good. Hang on. You got to make another swing. You got to make another swing around because you're too close to the trailer over here.
just get real close to this side here. Try to get as close to this side as possible. Awesome. Perfect, good. You're good, you're good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, the fire truck. You almost hit the fire truck or you're aiming towards it. <laughs> oh, it looks so rad. Yeah. There you go. That's good. Awesome. Right on. How's the drive? It good. Like a bus. It's actually very. Steering is extremely comfortable. Really? Cool. Which is rare. Which is yeah. No kidding. Awesome. Oh, but it was close when you were hitting the bump over there. It was getting close. But awesome. It oh, goes. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. Now it's sounding really, really smooth. Well, cool. Let's clean it up and see what we can make it look like here in the next little bit. All right. Some major cleanup has been going on here. The shop back has been backing. Uh, Seb has been working in here getting the interior of this thing put together. Pulled off those ugly seat covers. And damn, these seats are nice. Uh, get a little wipe down of the dash. That original paint on the dash is actually really beautiful. Got that old skanky carpet out of here. It looks like the floor mat is pretty nice. That should clean up. And more amazingly, the floors of this thing are just incredible. This is one really super solid bus. So anyway, that is looking much better. The interior in the back here is looking so much better. Got all the boxes and junk out of there. Uh, there was some stuff in a hidden compartment underneath that back there which is kind of cool but uh anyway it's looking so much happier on the inside now it's time to spend a little uh polishing time on the outside see what we can make this look like all right game on little compound see if this chalky paint will hold a shine all right first pass we're seeing blue Amazing. <laughs> so take a look at that scruffy paint on this thing. Look at that fade. It's just insane. But man, one pass with the buffer and this thing is shining up insane such a pretty looking bus underneath all that scuzz the top still need to get up there and do that but i am really happy with uh, that first pass with the buffer just amazing fantastic <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy 
shit. Well, the ladder is kind of... <laughs> Pulled the spare tire cover and the spare off the front, exposing that awesome V-shaped nose that these early buses have. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have to pull this uh, bracket off of there if I wanna put an emblem back, but the holes are still there for the emblem. And unfortunately, I think it was probably painted over, so we may see some blue poking through that emblem. But I think getting that VW logo back on there will make a big difference. But wow, she is shining up amazing. So it has been a very active day working here at the lab, polishing up that old 66 Volkswagen bus. We got it running, we got it driving, still need to do brakes, um, but then we went crazy with the buffer and with the vacuum and really cleaned it up. And I am absolutely blown away with the way this thing looks. Check this out. And even the horns are working. Incredible. But here she is after several hours of flogging and absolutely a night and day difference. That paint was so chalky, so nasty, um, but it amazingly shined up with just one pass of the buffer. So I think if we go after it again with uh, some uh, polish and some wax, it'll shine even more. But as you can see, it really, really glossed up. Uh, and that color blue is spectacular. I love the slot mags on there. Those appliance wheels just look absolute, period, perfect. The interior, once we got it kind of cleaned up, it's amazing how much nicer that looks. Underneath those gnarly seat covers were these cool 70s seats high backs the dash cleaned up really nice uh all the gauges seem to be working except for the tack uh the horn works the lights work all the wood paneling and stuff on the inside is actually in fairly decent shape uh, except for this door panel which is pretty rusty but check out this crazy vintage flooring Check out the dome light working up here at the top. We've got the vintage camp stove, the little fridge ice box in there, even old camping equipment we pulled out, cleaned up and put back in. And there's even a little stash spot here so you can uh, hide your, uh, your stash. But anyway, the thing is absolutely killer. I'm really, really thrilled with the way that it's looking. You can check that out in the back walk through 66 bus and she's a runner good, uh, a good runner yeah. it runs fantastic so seb is the man today he got it running got it driving and together we polished and made it look all shiny and uh i think this is archaeology we dug it up we drove it and uh some right on swap some wheels it's hardly done but ye friggin' ha talk about a rewarding experience of buffing up this thing and making it run and drive for the first time thanks so much for watching everybody keep on digging them up and driving them bye bye